hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our POS system in PHP so now guys in previous video we have done with adding the products items into our session variable as array so now guys we are going to get that session variable and loop those session variable data and print in a HTML format so guys now let's get started so let's move back to our editor so guys we are on this order create.php yep and here is a code which we see the output here okay so this is the output let's remove that and now let's begin with the card design so card margin top 3 card header h4 tag products and add a class margin bottom 0 then start with the card body and inside that card body you begin with your if else condition so open php close php and now let's check with the help of is set function that dollar underscore session of what your product items so let me copy that product items so here is a variable guys that is product items let's copy this and paste here okay and now you can begin with displaying the items so guys first table responsive and margin bottom 3 and then begin with the table dot table table okay let me add here table bordered then table hyphen striped then table head table row th table heading id product name then the price then quantity copy and paste and then total price and then finally a remove button okay remove -E, remove to remove that item from the session variable okay and now guys t body table body table row and then table data td so let us write the php here open php close php for each loop colon and let me copy and paste after the table row end for each and give semicolon and now guys here you have to give your products okay that is your session products products so let's copy this variable and just paste here session products is equal to copy this and paste it so now guys you have got all your data here and let's tell here as item or row and let us get the key also dollar key of arrow function and now guys this item open php echo and close php paste and then call the id so basically that is nothing but the product id or else you can call this key only okay so let me copy and paste here let's copy this key and paste the next is product name so just type name copy and paste for the price and then quantity guys so the quantity part will be little different so we are going to use a bootstrap so let's begin with the input group input hyphen group then a button with the class that is input group hyphen text okay so this is going to be the minus and again let's copy and paste and make it as plus and in between this we will add the quantity okay so value open equal to and close here and tell dollar item of quantity q u a n t i t y quantity done and now guys you can just add a class for this qty and quantity input done and now guys let us get below td and what is that after quantity here it is total price guys okay so what we'll do let me copy this and paste here paste it and now guys you are going to price into dollar item of quantity 
okay so let me copy this quantity variable paste here and you'll just give a number format so it will just show in a comma wise number underscore format paste it give comma zero and then finally a last td button for remove remove or remove item give a class button button danger and here we can create a separate file and remove that a particular item from your stored session okay so order um, item delete dot php with the index key okay so you can direct type key also or just type index key equal to which is going to be your dollar key let's copy this and paste here perfect so your index value of that session or a key value you can just take that and delete the record so we are not going to delete now we'll be seeing further so now guys let's continue here let me fold this table and in this else condition you are going to paste your just echo in a h5 tag h5 no items added okay so now let's save get back refresh perfect guys so here you see that we have the data but here we are seeing that it's starting from zero then one so let us skip that zero part let's go inside the table and here guys uh, we will change the format here let me break this down php and just create one variable dollar i equal to one and you can use this variable i here okay i plus plus that's it so now you can get back refresh perfect so one and two it comes here and now guys uh, this input uh, box is too big so let me just add a css class for this get back so here is my class guys that is quantity input which we are going to add a css for this so let's get to our assets css custom.css file okay so inside your admin folder we are going to the custom file paste this code okay let's copy this class and get back again and just paste that that's it guys and now let's move and refresh perfect so guys we have successfully fetched the data and showed in a html table format from the session variable okay so now guys let's continue in the next video about the product increment and decrement and also we'll be seeing about this removing this each item okay done so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share